Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing um, a beauty video, which is exciting because I haven't gotten a beauty video up in a while, but I decided that I want to show you how I do my makeup every day, and this is like honestly how I do it 99% um, of the time just because I'm either working or not doing much so I don't put like a ton of makeup on well to me this isn't a ton of makeup it might be a ton of makeup to y'all but not to me so um, I figured I'd do this video uh, because I wanted to mention some of my favorite products as well and um, also kind of show you what I do on a daily basis as far as like makeup and stuff like that so I uh, just took a shower um, blow dry my hair, uh, moisturize, put eye cream on, um, and I have my extensions, so obviously I don't have any um, mascara on or anything. So, uh, first thing I do usually is just like um, put some lip balm on. This is the Rose Salve, and sorry if you can hear my air conditioning, it's so annoying. <laughs> but, what is this? This is my hair. Oh. But <clears throat> the stuff is pretty good. Probably not the most sanitary way to do it, but gets the job done. All right. So first thing I do is I do my um, face makeup. In this case, if I were to be doing like tons of eyeshadow, then I would probably do my eyeshadow first. But um, I'm not using any eyeshadow in this video, so so first thing I do um, is just put my Makeup Forever Step 1 um, Skin Equalizer, it's like a uh, smoothing primer, and I just put this in my T-zone. I don't put it all over my face, just because I don't need it all over my face, but I noticed that... Um, my pores are really bad in my T-zone, so that's why I put it in my T-zone. <laughs> and sorry if the lighting is, like, super weird. It's so cloudy outside. And it's going to be cloudy for the rest of the week, so... And I wanted to film a video, so... This is just going to have to work. Next for my foundation, um, I use this It Cosmetics CC Cream. I just recently repurchased this. I did have it before in the darker, uh, in the second shade, um, but this is the lightest shade because obviously I need the lightest shade right now. But um, yeah, this isn't fair. So I'm not, my mom keeps texting me. But <clears throat> I just take. I just put some on my finger and just dot it on my face. And this stuff is just good for every day for me because it gives me enough coverage, but it doesn't like it doesn't look like I'm wearing makeup kind of. So I should probably get a mirror. That would be better. And then I just take my Real Techniques. Um, this is a sculpting brush, but I use it for foundation because it's uh, kind of like a more buffing type brush. Really dense. And I just kind of press that into the skin. See how it just, it covers enough, but it doesn't look like you're wearing a buttload of foundation. It's really awesome. I love this stuff. And this color matches perfectly with my skin right now, which makes me happy because I had um, the illumination one and it was way too dark for me. So I had to pick this up. I finished my CC cream and um, I just do one layer. It covers what I need. Um, so yeah, and it doesn't feel like you have foundation on. Kind of feels like you have um, like moisturizer on. Okay, so next I do um, concealer, which um, sometimes I'm way too honestly I'm way too lazy to do concealer sometimes. But um, 
I've developed really bad dark circles out of nowhere. I don't know where they came from. I used to have normal under eyes and now all of a sudden I have dark under eye circles. So um, it's pretty necessary for me to use concealer. But this is just the NYX HD Concealer in the lightest shade. And I don't do a ton of concealer on a daily basis. I just do like that much. I don't think that's a lot, but just in like a triangle um, shape just to brighten up my eyes a little bit. And then I do down my nose on my cupid's bow. Deacon! My dog. Ugh, freaking. This is going to mess up my video. Just kidding. But, and then I just take my beauty blender and I pat it in. I need to go get my nails done. I don't know if y'all can see. It's pretty bad. But, um, it's just like one of those days where it's like so cloudy. And I just want to stay home. But, I really need to get my nails done. And I'm supposed to cook dinner tonight for my family. So, I gotta get out. I mean, it's already 3 o'clock, so <laughs> running a little late. So, for setting, I use my airspun like usual. I need to get something new. I want to try something new. And I, I bake um, my eyes pretty much every day because my eye, my concealer creases so much. It's probably the concealer I'm using. I probably need to find a new one. But this is the shade that matches me and I have a full tube of it so it's not like I'm going to go like buy 10 of them just to try, you know. Like it does the job. It just creases sometimes and then put it down my nose. And then on my cupid's bow, and I kind of let it sit for a little bit, not too long. So I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. Just like ran up the stairs. Okay, so now I usually do my eyebrows. And for eyebrows, I use product for my work. I work at the European Wax Center, and they have a brow powder that is awesome. And this is my color, it's in taupe. But this stuff is like comparable to Anastasia, I swear. It, it's so good. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm so out of breath. But if y'all want a new brow routine, I'll do that for you. But I'm just going to skip through this because it takes me a little bit to do my eyebrows. And then I'll come back and show you the rest of my face. Alright, so I filled in my brows with the powder, and now I'm going to just set them with my Gimme Brow. This is almost out, but I think I'm going to get the Essence one, because it's like $2.99, and I heard it's so comparable. So I think I'm going to get that soon. But I'm just going to set my brows with that. And, yeah. I mean, they're not perfect, but who has time for perfect, you know? You know? Alright. So, now I, I'm just going to sweep away. I think I have a smaller brush, yeah. I'm just going to sweep away the baking I did. And I also put some powder, the rest of the powder, on my eyelid. Because um, I put some CC cream on there, so I just want to set that. Now I lightly just take some of the airspun powder and I just lightly set my face because I don't like the sticky feeling of like not setting my face. I just don't like that. So I just set it lightly. I don't put a ton of product on my brush. And then I'm going to take my Hourglass um, Ambient Powder and Dim Light. 
And I lightly put some on my face as well. I just think this gives you like a flawless look. I love the way this looks. It doesn't have much color to it, as you can see. It's not really like super pigmented, but it really gives you that flawless look. I love it. All right, so now I'm going to do a tad bit of contouring. And I don't do this like every day, um, especially like if I have to do my makeup really fast for work uh, I'll just do some bronzer but um, usually I'll do some contouring because um, I like the way contouring looks on my face so <laughs> so I'm just gonna contour with the I guess I could show you what I'm using uh, the Too Faced milk chocolate this is really really um, this is a good color for my skin right now since I'm so pale and that powder is lighter so I've been using that. Had it forever and I never use it. But I'm just going to lightly contour. Nothing crazy. I'm using like a dome type brush. And then I do my forehead. Because your girl got a big forehead. <laughs> Honestly. I do. But that's okay. I do it on the sides. And then I do... Right in the middle, too. See, nothing crazy, but just a little bit. And then I do my nose. I kind of draw a line where I want it, and then I buff up. And I'm squeezing my brush, too. So now... You probably guessed it. I'm going to use my Hourglass um, bronzer. This is just my favorite bronzer, and I don't think anything is going to beat it. So <laughs> I just love using it. So I'm just going to put a tad bit on my um, cheeks right here. And then drag it down my neck too. And I also kind of put it on the tip of my nose too because I think that looks cool. I don't know why I do it but I think it looks good. See it just gives like a really just natural bronzed look. Make sure I blend it in my hairline sometimes. It doesn't blend into my hairline. And then I also do a little bit on my forehead. Alright. So, bronzer is done. Now for... For blush, I've rediscovered this blush, and I forgot I had it because it was like deep in my my um, makeup cabinet. But uh, this is Max Blush and Dainty, and the lid is like broken, but that's what it looks like. Super pretty, really good with my pale skin. And this is a mineralized um, blush. If you were wondering. And I think they still have it. I got it a long time ago, but I'm pretty sure they still have it. And I just put a little bit of blush on. Give me some color because obviously I don't have a lot of color right now. Now for a highlighter. Um, this is the more natural um, highlighter I have, which I featured this. I can't remember which video it was, but this is the Wet n Wild. I'll have a Cosmo highlighter, and this is so pretty. It's more of one of one of my more natural highlighters. Like it's not like over the top. So I like to use this every day. And I just put it on my cheekbones and I bring it up to my brow bone. And then I take some on my finger, ring finger, and put it on my inner corner. I 
I at this point I'll like brush my eyelashes and but I've already done that and I kind of I'm um, more than um, or most of the time I don't know what I'm saying most of the time I don't put any like mascara on my lower lash line because I just like to look awake and bright so I think this is more of like a more awake and bright look I don't do mascara uh, most of the time on my lower lash line so I'm just gonna leave it like this like I said I don't do any like eyeshadow or anything I just put a little bit of that highlighter in my inner corner and that's it now that um, my my lip balm has been setting a little bit my lips are smoother um, I usually um, just do lip balm but if I want to do a color, I love these Revlon um, Color Bursts. These are super old, but um, they came out a long time ago, but I, they're so good. I love them. This one's in Berry Smoothie 020, if you can see that. And it's just like a mid-tone pink color. And this is if I just want a wash of color on my lips. And sometimes I'll line my lips, but most of the time I'm just really lazy. <laughs> so I love those. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I do on an everyday basis. I know this isn't like a crazy fun, like, um, crazy fun makeup video, but I just wanted to show you how I do um, my makeup every day for like work and stuff like that and I wanted to show you some of the other products that I love and that I use I actually use on a daily basis so yeah this is the finished look um, if I want me to do uh, more beauty videos I I want to play more with um, like eyeshadows and stuff I know like I have so many eyeshadows and I just feel like I don't play with them enough. So if y'all want me to do more makeup tutorials, just comment down below and um, give me some video suggestions. I want to do some more like maybe darker looks or something or like a natural Christmas look or something. I don't know. I'm totally in the Christmas spirit. But <laughs> thank you so much for watching and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to get notified when I upload next. But yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.